Hello and welcome back to all my erudite magic friends. My name is Jeff Kowalk and you're watching Erudite Magic. It's always my goal to help people understand what they're getting when they buy a book. So if you're finding this content helpful, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe, click the like button, and maybe tell your friends about what we're doing over here on Erudite Magic. I'm really excited to share the book that I have for you today. If you are a close-up card magician, a walk-around magician, or you like to do strolling magic, then this is going to be just the book for you. I am, of course, referring to One Degree by John Guastafaro. Here's what I can tell you. If you acquire, read, digest, and put into practice what this book has to say, you will become a superior walk-around performer. John Guastafaro is a part-time professional performing out of Los Angeles, California. He's well known for performing at the Magic Castle and has had several highly successful commercial DVD and book releases. This book, One Degree, is from 2010 and was put out by Vanishing Inc. Until Harapan Ong's Principia, I believe that this was the most popular selling book that Vanishing Inc. offered. So what's the premise of One Degree? Well, the idea behind it is that if you make intentional incremental improvements to your magic, they can result in far greater results. He gives the analogy of boiling water, that when you boil water, if you're one degree below the boiling temperature, nothing happens. You just have hot water. But that magical number of the boiling point triggers a response in the water that is much greater than the previous degree. I think this analogy works quite well to talk about your performances, John focuses on walk-around performances. The book has 20 card routines and five different essays. It's broken into a number of different chapters, typically with three different performance set pieces. Most of them will actually go together or have a logical flow to them, and then capped with an essay. There's a good mix of material here, and it's going to help you not only for walk-around, not everything is walk-around, some of it is also going to be for stand-up pieces of card magic. Now, if you've been into magic for any length of time, you know that books that are filled with high-quality walk-around, strolling, or stand-up card magic are somewhat hard to find. This book is a virtual treasure trove of those items. I'm not going to walk you through everything in the book, but suffice it to say that there's plenty for everyone. At one point, I performed a great number of these pieces when I did more walk around and strolling card magic. The first trick in the book, Truth in Advertising, is a fantastic example of the type of thinking that John Guastafaro espouses. In it, a deck of cards is presented, someone selects a card, you show that the rest of the deck is completely a blank, and that the person selected the one card there that actually has a face. The back of that card is shown to have changed to a different colored back, and then the rest of the deck is shown to have printed itself, and you are left clean with a deck that's ready to roll. There are some neat slights in here, his ballet cut, he teaches a number of other slights that are utility moves, there are a few counts that are pretty neat to count, showing a couple different cards as four, etc. To give you kind of an idea about the type of magic or the type of person that might be drawn to this material, if you like John Bannon magic, I think that you'll probably like John Guastafaro magic. John Bannon, in fact, wrote the foreword to the book describing how he was a big fan of what John Guastafaro presented. All the tricks in the book are generously credited. At the end of each trick, John gives you many notes and credits to describe where you can read more information about this particular style of effect or this particular principle or slight. So if you're a real student of magic, and as I know you are, an erudite, then you will have plenty of homework if you enjoy the tricks to go back and dig into other resources that culminated in this moment that John Guastafaro presents to you. There's quite a variety of different props used in these effects that even though it's all card magic, he uses different objects with the cards to present a number of engaging plots. So of course, one of his more famous pieces, Vino Aces, is tipped here at the end 
which is kind of a McDonald's Aces type routine, but done in some wine glasses and gives you some really nice moments to present in a parlor or stand-up style show. He uses such diverse items as luggage tags, key rings, dollar bills. So what kind of skill level do you need to have to perform John Guastafaro's magic? Well, I think that this is going to be for the inspired beginner or the solid intermediate performer. Nothing in here is tremendously difficult. There are times that he calls for a half pass or things like that, but there are also tricks where he uses a double undercut to control a card and in fact teaches a routine with the slop shuffle. So most of this stuff is solidly at that beginner to someone advancing into the intermediate card handling and slights world. But if you are that beginner, don't worry, he's going to teach you everything you need to know. If you have either Royal Road to Card Magic or Card College, you have some experience with slights, you're gonna feel very comfortable with this material. Earlier in the video, I alluded to the fact that he presents the tricks in the book in groups of three and typically they flow together. And in some cases, there's a synergy there where one is building upon another. So for example, you may have a deck shuffled in your first routine. In your second routine, you may end up setting up for the third trick, which may require a small setup. The cool thing is that John gives you a couple different ways to get into it, that if you didn't use the second trick, but you wanna get into this on the fly with a shuffled deck, oftentimes he gives you a method and a way to get into this trick from a shuffled deck in use. You're not gonna need very many special props. You may need a few double facers, double backers, or things like that, but most of what he asks you to have, you're already going to have. Or if you need to come by it, it's not that difficult. When I think about John Guastafaro, oftentimes what comes into my head is classy. And that's the way I would describe the tricks in this book. They're very, very classy. When you perform these types of tricks, your audience is going to sit up and take notice because these are not your uncle's magic tricks. Cards are changing faces, changing backs, being found in extraordinary places, places that seem impossible. There's even an in the spectator's hands triumph. They're doing things behind their back to straighten out a deck that you have shuffled face up into face down and made into a horrible mess. When they've made a few choices behind their back, they bring the cards back around and lo and behold, the card that they merely named is the only card face up in that previously jumbled deck. He takes the effect and moves it from, look how great I am as a magician, and moves it to look at how great you are as a participant. It's almost like the Magician doesn't even know what's going to happen next in one of these effects. John Guastafaro at the beginning of the book lays out his premise for the book that he wants to give you more impact, more connection, and better achievement of your goals. And he certainly delivers on that promise at the beginning of the book. All of these tricks are very high impact effects. And he's giving you presentations that allow you to take a moment to breathe, to look your spectators in the eye, and to engage your audience. The real important secrets of magic. In his very thought-provoking essays, he gives you things to think about that will elevate your artistic performance and vision. It's like I said, if you get this book, absorb the contents, put it into practice, deploy this, you're definitely going to become a better walk around magician. Now I'll make the case that it will elevate your magic in all other areas as well, but John's primary focus is on that strolling, walk around, stand up card magic. Let's talk for a moment about what you're getting in the book in terms of its value and structure. There are about 139 pages in this book. The photos, which are generous, are black and white but they don't take up an inordinate amount of room. We've seen that in some of the newer releases of books with large photos, and it feels like you're getting less material and more photo. In this case, the photos are large enough to be sufficient. You're not gonna have any trouble understanding any of the moves or what's expected of your hands or body or props as you're walking through these effects. The book itself is not completely black and white. There's some very nice 
red lettering throughout. So you basically have a two color book. The photos and text are primarily in black and white, but there are some red accents throughout the book that make it very attractive and pleasing to read. At this point, I believe that Vanishing Ink has sold out of the hardback version of this book and is now offering a softback. If you're one of my foreign viewers, I've got some great news. This book is available in a number of different foreign languages. So if you're outside the United States and you hate the fact that you can't get a book in your own native tongue, you're in luck. This one is probably available in a language that you speak or read as the case may be. In terms of the value, this book clocks in at $35, which I think is a bargain for the 20 effects that you're getting plus the essays if you are a strolling or walk around magician. When I compare the size of this book to Tarbell, the dimensions on the front are basically identical in terms of the height and width. And then in terms of the depth, it is probably about half as thick as a Tarbell book, if that gives you some indication of its proportions. As far as this particular piece, I highly recommend it if you're a serious student of walk around strolling or stand up card magic. And indeed, I feel that if you absorb this content, you really will be a better magician and your audiences will experience that one degree difference. I am gonna drop a link down below. So if you're interested in buying this book, you can quickly and easily purchase it from the publishers and support Vanishing Ink and their effort to keep magic books alive. If I did not get to a question that you wanted to see answered, please drop me a comment down below because as you know, I am an open book. Until next time, all my erudite friends, keep reading.